Today, we're going to talk about a crucial subject for those living with diabetes, the most popular vitamin deficiencies and why it's essential to address them. Living with diabetes can be challenging, but being informed about how to manage it effectively can make a world of difference in your overall health and well-being. But before we continue, if you appreciate all the information and the research that goes into making a video like this, it does help out tremendously if you hit the like button or hit subscribe. Thank you, and let's begin. Now let's dive into the world of vitamins and their importance for those with diabetes. We'll also explore the top vitamin deficiencies observed in people with diabetes and the latest studies that shed light on this topic. But first, why are vitamins so important for everyone, including those with diabetes? Vitamins are organic compounds that our bodies need in small amounts to function correctly. They play a vital role in many bodily processes, including energy production, immune function, and blood clotting. Some vitamins are produced by our bodies, while others must be obtained through our diets or supplements. When it comes to diabetes, certain vitamins can help improve blood sugar control, prevent complications, and maintain overall health. So, without further ado, Let's explore the top vitamin deficiencies often seen in people with diabetes and the studies that have been conducted to better understand their impact. The first vitamin deficiency that we'll discuss is vitamin D. A study published in the Journal of Diabetes Research in 2016 found that people with diabetes, particularly type 2, are at a higher risk of vitamin D deficiency than those without diabetes. This deficiency can have several negative consequences, including a weakened immune system, poor bone health, and an increased risk of cardiovascular disease. The same study also suggested that supplementing with vitamin D can help improve insulin sensitivity and glucose tolerance, which can be beneficial for people with diabetes. Another study published in the journal Endocrine Practice in 2017 found that vitamin D deficiency was associated with poor glycemic control in people with type 2 diabetes. The researchers concluded that screening and treating vitamin D deficiency might be a useful strategy to improve blood sugar control in people with diabetes. Next, let's discuss vitamin B12. A deficiency in this vitamin is common among people with diabetes, particularly those taking the medication metformin. Metformin, a commonly prescribed drug for type 2 diabetes, can interfere with the absorption of vitamin B12, leading to a deficiency over time. A 2019 study published in the journal Diabetes and Metabolic Syndrome Clinical research and reviews found that vitamin B12 deficiency was prevalent in up to 30% of people with type 2 diabetes taking metformin. Vitamin B12 plays a crucial role in maintaining the health of the nervous system, and a deficiency can lead to neuropathy, a common complication of diabetes. The same 2019 study mentioned earlier also found that supplementing with vitamin B12 could help reduce the severity of diabetic neuropathy in people with type 2 diabetes. Now let's move on to vitamin C. A study published in the journal Diabetic Medicine in 2018 found that people with type 2 diabetes had lower levels of vitamin C compared to those without diabetes. This is concerning because vitamin C is a powerful antioxidant that helps protect our cells from damage and inflammation. It also plays a role in wound healing, which can be a significant concern for people with diabetes due to the risk of developing foot ulcers. The same 2018 study also found that supplementing with vitamin C might improve blood sugar control and reduce the risk of developing diabetes-related complications. Another study published in the Journal of Nutritional Science and Vitaminology in 2017 found that people with type 2 diabetes who took a vitamin C supplement for 12 weeks experienced significant improvements in their blood sugar levels, insulin sensitivity, and blood pressure. Now let's talk about magnesium. Magnesium is an essential mineral that plays a role in many biological processes, including blood sugar regulation, and insulin sensitivity. A study published in the journal Diabetes Care in 2016 found that people with type 2 diabetes were more likely to have low levels of magnesium compared to those without diabetes. This deficiency has been linked to an increased risk of developing diabetes-related complications, including cardiovascular disease and neuropathy. The same 2016 study also found that supplementing with magnesium could help improve blood sugar control and reduce the risk of complications in people with type 2 diabetes. Another study published in the journal Nutrients in 2018 found that magnesium supplementation could help improve insulin resistance and blood sugar control in people with type 2 diabetes, particularly in those with low magnesium levels. Lastly, let's discuss vitamin E. 
Vitamin E is a potent antioxidant that helps protect our cells from damage caused by free radicals, which are unstable molecules that can contribute to inflammation and chronic diseases, including diabetes. A study published in the journal Antioxidants in 2020 found that people with type 2 diabetes had lower levels of vitamin E compared to those without diabetes. This deficiency can contribute to an increased risk of developing diabetes-related complications, such as cardiovascular disease and neuropathy. The same 2020 study also found that supplementing with vitamin E could help improve blood sugar control and reduce inflammation in people with type 2 diabetes. Another study published in the journal Diabetes Care in 2017 found that vitamin E supplementation might help prevent or delay the progression of diabetic kidney disease in people with type 2 diabetes. The difference between vitamins and minerals. The quickest answer for the difference between vitamins and minerals is that vitamins are made by living things and minerals are found in the earth. Vitamins are essential to humans' nutrition, but minerals aren't always necessary. Vitamins are also organic, whereas minerals are not, which means vitamins can break down. Top foods with highest vitamins. Fish is a good source of nine of 14 essential vitamins. These include vitamins A, B1, B2, B3, B5, B6, B12, D, and E. Among all fish, tuna and trout provide the most vitamins, but be sure to eat a wide variety of fish for a healthy diet. Dark leafy greens are a good source of eight of 14 essential vitamins. These include vitamins A, B2, B3, B6, B9, C, E, K, and beta carotene. While all dark leafy greens are great, extra nutrient dense sources include spinach and kale. Seeds are a good source of six of 14 essential vitamins. These include vitamins B1, B2, B3, B5, B5, B6, and E. Vitamin-rich choices for seeds include sunflower and flax seeds. Broccoli is a good source for six of 14 essential vitamins. These include vitamins A, B9, C, E, K, and beta-carotene. Other nutritious cruciferous vegetables include Brussels sprouts, cabbage, and cauliflower. Pork is a good source for six of 14 essential vitamins. These include vitamins B1, B2, B3, B5, B6, and D. Good cuts of pork include pork chops, loin, and shoulder. In conclusion, it's essential for people with diabetes to be aware of the potential vitamin deficiencies they may face and the role these deficiencies can play in their overall health. Ensuring proper intake of vitamins D, B12, C, magnesium, and E through diet or supplementation can help improve blood sugar control, prevent complications, and maintain overall health. As always, it's crucial to consult with your healthcare provider before making any changes to your diet or supplement regimen. So there you have it. We've covered the top vitamin deficiencies often seen in people with diabetes and the studies that have been conducted to understand their impact. By staying informed and taking the necessary steps to address these deficiencies, you can significantly improve your health and well-being while living with diabetes. Remember, knowledge is power. And in this case, it's the key to better health. Thank you for watching today's video. Please like, share, and subscribe for more informative content about diabetes and nutrition. Stay healthy and take care.